So I've made a small change to my app and I'm just changing the location that we're actually looking at. And I've set it to be the latitude and longitude of the street right outside the studio where I'm filming this. So I call panorama.setposition on this and I do everything else the same. And I'll show you what the app looks like. Here you can see the area outside the studio and I'm on Latham Street. And you can see Latham Street in the street view itself. And if I go to other places we can see Showers Drive and the other part of Showers Drive and as, you, as a result you can see all the street names being updated. Here we can see Showers Drive again from this angle. So street names are on. Now you may want to turn this off. The default value is that it would be on. Now let's take a look at what it takes to turn it off. Now if you remember it was just panorama dot set street names enabled and we'd pass it a boolean. I want to turn it off so I'm going to set false. So now I'm going to rerun the application and we'll see what it looks like. And here's the same application running now with the street names turned off. And you see I can just see the view outside. The street names have not been overlaid. The default behavior was for street names to be there, but I've overridden that. And in some cases it might make for a better app. It's really up to you and what the needs of your app are. Play with the others, the user navigation and the zoom gesture for yourself and see if you can get some nice effects.